Hey, folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. This intraday analysis video is for Thursday, August 5th, 2010. Well, folks, here we go again. Market is trading fractionally to the downside, but volume is so ridiculously light today that, again, you have to know that there is something big on the horizon. That's the only reason the volume is so light today. Again, summer months coming into the Friday night non-farm payrolls and unemployment report tomorrow morning at 8.30 a.m. And we will be doing a live broadcast of that event in the Research Center for all of our members. And again, you'll be seeing the charts, the futures live. We're going to be discussing the implications of the number, giving it to you live as it comes out. And again, we'll be posting that number to log in in the Research Center about 8 o'clock tomorrow morning for the 8.20 presentation for the about the next 20 minutes or so tomorrow morning. Now, key things to go over. First of all, the market is trading slightly lower on the day. The Dow is down 22 two points. NASDAQ down eight, S&P down three. The key is today we did get some light, slightly bearish economic data when we got initial claims. Now, jobless claims, again, are how many people file for unemployment. That number came out at 479,000. The market had expected 450 to 460. So again, the market cannot get away from this 450 or higher level. We come down to about 450, then we jump back up. And what it's showing us is that there still is a ton of layoffs going on, and ultimately we will not have major job growth in this market for a long time to come. So unfortunately, we have to get used to that and then still ultimately find a way around it. And and that's the beauty of being a trader. Whether you're a swing trader or a day trader, you're always making money every day, and you don't need to get hired by anyone else. You work for yourself. You make money as much as you want for yourself. Again, keep that in mind as you join the Research Center and Intraday Stock Chat. Now, what you can see today is the gap down. Why did we have a gap down today? Well, obviously, for the key reasons of understanding here, you have to look at those jobless claims numbers. Initially, the market was trading flat this morning. Those jobless claims numbers came out, and as I said, they were slightly worse than expected. The market gapped lower, but no sooner had it gapped lower and push down here, we had a key level of support. Notice this key level. The pivot double bottom low from yesterday, which also happens to be gap fill from the day before. Notice gap fill right here. The low from yesterday, that's the low of today. We gapped there. As soon as you gap there, you push down, created a nice little long tail signaling a little bit of an up move. The fact that we closed above this area of support tells you there's further upside to come. The market did start to move higher. Look at this little move up, 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 up. Got back above the yellow trend line, consolidated, moved up to the 20 moving average, and this pivot high. And then ultimately, we fell back down, coming back down. Same level, double bottom for the day. Market has traded up off of that low. The volume gets getting lighter and lighter as we get closer and closer to that key level. And ultimately, that is telling us, folks, pure and simple, that the market's waiting for this number tomorrow. So again, be ready for that, folks. It is coming. And once we get there, be ready again. That will be a huge number tomorrow, and we will be covering it live for our premium members. Now, again, a couple other things to go over. What is keeping the market really neutral to slightly negative today? And the answer to that would be Chevron here, down a little bit on the day, although it has ticked up basically towards the flat line. Exxon Mobil is weak, down about 40 cents. Apple Computer taking a look here, down $1.40. So a lot of the key stocks continue to be a little on the weak side. And ultimately, that is, again, keeping the markets flat, slightly negative. Although, again, the light volume and anticipa anticipation of tomorrow's big jobs number is keeping the market from really having any sort of sell. Now, the question is, well, what's going to happen tomorrow? Are we going to see a major sell? Are we going to see a major buy? Ultimately, the question will be answered tomorrow when we get those non-farm payrolls. Market is going to expect an overall non-farm payrolls number of minus uh, 87, 85,000 to 100,000 jobs. So you're going to be anticipating a loss of almost 100,000 jobs tomorrow if if it comes in less than that, that's going to be a positive. If it comes in as a positive number, that's a positive. But you can't just take the number for itself. What I need you to do tomorrow, and we're going to be covering this live, you have to look at how many private sector jobs were created. Why? Well, because the census, the U.S. government is laying off census workers, and that's going to account for a large amount of the loss in jobs. So you have to say to yourself, okay, what, do, what did the government lay off in census workers? Take that number out, and then say to yourself, okay, was this a good or a bad number? Okay. And once you get that information, then you can determine whether or not the market's going to rip higher or lower. The first move tomorrow may be faulty. And initially, we could come out, for instance, let's say we come out with a flat number. There were no job losses. You would think that would be positive, but it's not that simple. You have to say to yourself, okay, well, let's see how many census workers were laid off. If no census workers were laid off, then it could, still could be a bad number because they were anticipating 150,000 layoffs of census workers. So that would have meant if that full amount was factored in, you would have had a minus 150. That would be bad for the market. So again, do you guys see how it's not as simple as just looking at the simple number and going from there and jumping long or short the market tomorrow? Okay.
All right, having said that, folks, let's take a look at a couple other things. Let's go back to the SPY. The SPY, I anticipate for the rest of the day to just continue. You're range bound in trading right now. See the gap down, the move up to this pivot line, which basically mirrored the mid level of yesterday. We hit it right here, hit it right here, and today you hit it as well. And you came back down, and you're really just chopping in a sideways motion here from really the 112.25 to the 112.75 level. You're basically in a 50 cent range today on the SPY. And again, as I said before, that's only because we're waiting on that huge number coming out shortly or tomorrow morning in the morning at 8.30 a.m. All right, now a couple other things I want to go over. BP is having a nice, strong day today. They're expected to start to fill that, that, uh, that key level there or that key um, well. So we're going to watch to see that. In addition, watch to see some other moves on the market today. Let me take a look at my watch list and see what else is popping up on the radar. Google is up slightly on the day, but aside from that, everything else is basically flat to slightly negative. I still think some of these oil stocks are bloated pigs. Uh, IOC, let me take a look at IOC. Take a look at this, folks. Look at this IOC down $2.30 today. Take a look. Look at the move up it's had. And the same thing applies on the Chevron Daily. I mean, these stocks are very, very bloated. They may have a slight bit more up, but I think they're near their movement to the downside, and I expect a little bit of movement to the downside in the not-too-distant future. So watch for a little bit of a pullback starting maybe next week on some of these stocks that are slightly on the bloated side. All right? So we'll keep an eye on that. That's all for today, folks. Again, come join the Research Center. Come join the intraday stock chat. Let's make some money. I know I will be making money as I am today. Talk to you then.